I'm Rick Plum, and we're here for the Lucia Capital Group weekly video. Now, we've often talked about the potential benefits that retirees and their heirs may see from owning a Roth account. Whether it's a Roth 401k or a Roth IRA, the potential tax-free nature of Roth withdrawals often makes them an attractive asset to have, especially if your income levels are relatively high. The problem for some higher income people, though, is that $208,000 income limit for married couples filing a joint return or $140,000 for a single filer, which is the point where they lose the ability to actually contribute directly to a Roth IRA. One way to potentially get around these income limits is to do what's called a backdoor Roth or Roth two-step. And that's where you contribute non-deductible money to a traditional IRA, and then you turn around and just convert that money to a Roth IRA. Anyone with earned income can contribute to a non-deductible traditional IRA. Now, keep in mind, though, that the annual contribution limit is relatively small, $6,000 for those under age 50 and $7,000 for those 50 and older. What's more, if you have pre-tax money in an existing IRA or rollover IRA from prior 401ks and you want to do a Roth conversion, they won't let you just slice off that post-tax money that, and then convert that the after-tax and pre-tax money would have to be accounted for on a pro-rata basis. That's where it can get a bit messy. So what can you do? Some employers allow participants of their 401k plans to make after-tax contributions. And for 401k plans, the limits are a lot higher than that traditional pre-tax contribution, all the way up to 58,000 of total contributions in 2021 if your income is high enough. Now let's say you're in your mid-40s and you're a highly compensated employee working for a company that has a 401k that offers a 50% match on the first 6,000 in contributions and allows post-tax 401k deposits up to the maximum. Now, if you really wanted to amp up your retirement savings, you could not only max out your deferral limit of 19,500 into the 401k and then take the 3,000 company match, but you could also co uh, contribute an additional 35,500 of after-tax money into that 401k plan as well. These additional after-tax contributions do need to go to the traditional 401k, and they're not allowed to be put into the Roth 401k, but that shouldn't create too much of an issue. Now, if you were able to continue these contributions for the next 10 years, you would have contributed a total of 355,000 in after-tax money to your 401k. Of course, whatever earnings you may have accumulated in the account over that period of time would be tax-deferred and eventually taxed when you withdraw the money. But once you retire or you sever employment with that particular company, you could then do a direct rollover of the entire $355,000 in after-tax contributions to a Roth IRA, and then roll over all that pre-tax contribution and the earnings into a traditional IRA. These Roth strategies are certainly not for everyone, nor is any sophisticated retirement approach. But getting a lot of extra money into a Roth is something you're looking to do. You may want to consider it. If you'd like some guidance or some advice as to whether or not this Roth strategy may work for you, give us a call. We do this every single day, and we're here to help.